Hey there my dudes, so in this video as you can see I'm shirtless because I'm going to be speaking about my chest, uh, my top surgery and all that kind of stuff. I'm specifically going to be speaking about surgery recovery and scar treatment, scar recovery, things like that that I haven't really spoken too much about in the past because I never put too much thought into it when I was actually, when my scars were actually recovering and there's a lot of information that I've looked up now that I wish I kind of knew back then so I thought I'd make a video about it. Also meant mentioning what I did for my scar recovery, but also mentioning what I found out that I wish I knew back then and I wish I did to sort of make the recovery a bit quicker. So I have a quick list here so that I don't forget kind of what to say, just ignore me if I'm looking at my phone. When it comes to starting the actual treatment, there are some things you can do before your surgery and obviously if you've already had your surgery and you're watching this, that's fine. There is many more things to do after your surgery. So. When it comes to before your surgery, there is certain things about diet which can happen before and after your surgery, which I think I'll quickly just mention. When it comes to diet, um, there's lean protein before your surgery is actually really good to help with the immediate healing and recovery from your surgery because it provides the necessary things needed for the wound healing process to start effectively. There's also zinc, which promotes skin formation. It fights infections that can happen when your scars are recovering. I, for one, had an infection in this side of my chest and there is a bigger scar here. You can't see it too much but during the, my recovery this used to be a massive red gross scar and there wasn't much I could do about it. Luckily up here it's gotten white now um, but originally it was it didn't look good. <laughs> so if you ha have zinc or something or just sort of look after yourself, keep it clean uh, but gently clean, you know, don't scrub it or anything, let water wash over it. I had a nasty infection in the nipple graft that I had on my left side here and that caused like a lot of issues on its own and I just sort of, I, I know there was probably nothing I could do about it but maybe that if I had zinc it might have helped the swelling and the issues with the scar around this area go down quicker. Also what I, what I read on a really interesting site is that vitamin C increases the pace of healing and it reduces reduces the likelihood of raised scars. So if you don't want that sort of raised look to your scars, my scars are a tiny bit raised, they're not too bad, but if you if you don't want that sort of raised appearance to them, apparently vitamin C can help with that. I didn't know that before doing the research. One thing I also recommend is to stay hydrated because that makes sure that the blood can very quickly move to the area and bring the vitamins in the diet that I've just mentioned to the actual wound area to help with the healing process. I, I read on this website as well how a lot of people take don't take into account how important diet is for a lot of wound healing and your general health. So I didn't really think about this at the time and maybe a lot of things would have helped if I did. So I feel like that was important to mention in this video. Well, so I just kind of got a, a little bit of my mullet back. So I hope you guys like that. <laughs> also, before I continue on with this, I'd like to say if you guys want more videos like this or other cool videos that I'm going to be doing, I might be doing some commentary videos on different things, um, some more comedic ones, which are the commentary style ones which I've done in the past, um, and a few others based on my transition. Please subscribe and like this video if you liked it, click that notification bell, and I'll get back to the rest of this. <laughs> so pretty early on after surgery, you have to do this thing where to get sort of, I, I have a little bit of excess skin here which I always hate but there are sometimes knots here which can form after surgery. And so your surgeon might say this to you, but you have to sort of massage them out just like this. So you have to do this motion daily and massage the knots here. And if you have any dog ears or anything like that out here, massage them. And that can really help with getting the parts that are sort of a bit bobbly here, whatever the word is for them, um, the raised parts here down a little bit. So I'd suggest massaging them. I'd also, much like I talked about being hydrated helps with blood flow to the area because it makes sure that your blood 
has enough water in it to easily flow to the wound area. I'd, I'd suggest waiting till you're not going to pull apart any stitches, so you know, maybe three weeks or something after, a few weeks after. I re recommend gently massaging the area because even though it'll be numb and it'll feel slightly odd, massaging area can kind of make blood go to that area and can help form new nerve endings and it might help the numbness go away a little bit. I'm still slightly, slightly numb in this side of my chest, but ever since, you know, I, I did a little bit of massaging in that area, helping promote new nerve endings. So when it comes to sort of getting the new nerve endings in that particular area, as I've mentioned, I would really recommend working out. So I've done quite a few workouts on my chest. I've made videos kind of about what kind of workouts I do on my chest. If you don't want to do a whole routine and, and all the stuff that I usually do, I recommend just do some push-ups uh, daily or every other day or when you can. Um, add them into your daily routine, maybe in the morning, maybe before you go to bed to help you, uh, to make you feel tired or something. Um, but I recommend doing this quite a bit after surgery. I mean, I don't know the exact earliest I started working out. It was probably a few months after surgery. I'm sure you could do a bit earlier but you want to make sure you've stretched out that chest so you don't go straight into a push-up and pull something because your chest is gonna be really tight. But to help that tightness and to help the numbness in your chest and, and all that kind of stuff with the scarring, to get blood to the area as well, which is really important for healing, I recommend once you've sort of stretched out slightly and gradually got back into some sort of exercise, do some push-ups, do some chest workouts. And that, as I said, promotes blood flow to the area and for me and what my surgeon said and a few other people said and it did work for me, it helped bring back some feeling into the area. Before I couldn't even feel this area and this side of my chest didn't even react to cold air, like this nipple graft didn't react to cold air. But now it actually does a little bit. Not as much as this one, I can totally feel most of this side of my chest. This side's still a tiny bit numb compared to the other side. Um, however, as soon as I started working out I started feeling more in my chest. New nerves were growing in those particular areas. It was reacting more to the air, like this side of the nipple. Um, and I think it, I don't know about what it did to my scars because I, I mean, I started working out rather quite a few years after, like properly working out my chest quite a few years after the surgery before I saw any change in the muscle mass on my actual chest. However, I would recommend sort of working out and getting the nerves back in that area and everything else that I mentioned. The protein will also help building up the chest muscle, which will also help with the blood flow and to bring the protein to the wounds to help heal them. All that stuff all links in together. So one thing I need to mention as well is, especially early on, uh, before you start any of your scar treatments, and I'd say definitely in the first year or six months of, of having your scars, because they'll still be quite red even in the first six months, um, keep them out of the sun, keep them protected from the sun, um, uh, make sure they're covered or you have something over them that that can protect them from that. But there is also things to put on them. Apparently bio oil, which I never used, I used, I can't remember the cream I used, I will try and find it. But apparently bio oil or scar guard, they speed up healing um, and just these things that you can sort of put onto your scars and your chest and nipple grafts and speed up the healing process. I don't know any brands because I never use them myself, but I'm sure you can find them online, good ones to use or ask your surgeon or your doctor, things like that. I, I looked up online, apparently topical silicone gel and silicone gel sheets are really good for the scar wound healing. I've seen this on multiple sites that I read. My camera just died, but uh, I'm back. <laughs> so I was gonna say, speaking of the silicone gel stuff, there is a company, lovely company, that sent me some uh, products for scar care. I haven't had time to actually use them myself, so I'm just gonna mention that in this video so that I can say I haven't actually test run them myself, I haven't had the time. However, I might do in the future, they sent me some stuff. I am out of breath because I literally just ran up the stairs to get my charger for my camera. <laughs> 
but I'll put them up on the screen here. They have a bunch of before and after things. They have 100% medical grade silicone. They've got a bunch of examples of before and afters, as I said, that I'm gonna show here. I feel like they're a very friendly company to the community. They've got a bunch of before and afters of FTM scar care. So go check them out and see for yourself. Use promo code LADDY for free shipping and a 10% discount. I feel like one other step is the mental step of scars, because I understand it can have a mental toll. And for me, I actually kind of like my scars. And even though I, I would have liked maybe an easier healing process, which is why you might be looking at this video, it wasn't the fact that I wanted to reduce them so much that no one could see them. It's just the process of healing at the beginning was difficult with certain infections and things, and I would have liked them to close up a bit easier and not be so bumpy, and I'd rather not have this bit, which I'm sure I could have maybe somehow found a way to sort out earlier. But I think the main point is, at the end of the day, accepting your unique bodies, and I've been clocked for my scars, mostly not by cis people. I don't think I've ever been clocked by a cis person, but I have met so many trans people by having my scars out on show, because I, I once was at a beach and someone fell over on the, ro on the rocks. It was quite slippy, there was seaweed, and I helped him up, and he, he goes like, <laughs> like, at my scars, he goes like, <laughs> and just and I was just like awkward and then um and then he goes uh he goes are you and then I I, I look at them for a minute and I'm like are you <laughs> and it turns out we're like both trans men um and uh he was just like I, I haven't had mine yet and we had a lovely conversation about how we were both excited about different parts of the journey and stuff so yeah i mean I, I don't mind them i'm very open about who i am and so i don't mind my scars being on show um but i understand why some people are looking at this video if they want to get their scars reduced to the point where you can hardly see them i think uh, mine aren't that obvious anymore see from a distance I don't think you can see mine that obviously. The only thing you can see is this weird bit in the center, which is why I recommend the massaging. I don't know if that's gonna help that. And I don't I don't mind that at all. Um, you, you can't see them that much. And most cis people won't know what top surgery is. So there is that mental step of trying to get over it. I remember being nervous when I first went out with my sort of, uh, when I first went out shirtless in center parks, I made a video a while ago. I was quite nervous. But at the end of the day, I don't think anyone really noticed and it wouldn't matter if they did. I'm happy and confident with the surgery and it was one of the best bits of money I've spent in my life. Um, but yeah, that's all the scar care that I have information about here. Let me know or let the people in the community know if you have any more info in the comments down below or if you'd like any other videos for me to make. As I said earlier, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll be making more videos soon and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>